Okay, today's video, we're gonna talk about how to get your ads reapproved permanently, not just temporarily, like you may already be able to get your ad approved again, but then it, like a game of whack-a-mole, get your ad disapproved over and over again. How to fix this problem of getting your ads disapproved for destination not working and do it right this time. This is the no BS real solution for doing it for when you can't get it fixed the easy way, we'll just say. Uh, I've watched, to start off with, I could tell you, other YouTube videos that go over this exact ad disapproval reason. None of them's talking about what I'm gonna tell you here today. So if you're saying, I tried it all, Corey, none of it works, this is not what you're gonna normally see. And this is coming from somebody who manages dozens of ad accounts on an ongoing basis has, and has personally managed multiple hundreds of ad accounts. So I understand through real experience how to get through some of this stuff and the surface level crap that you see on other YouTube videos is coming from people that are giving you boilerplate information that they don't even, they haven't even experienced the issue themselves or fixed the issue themselves most of the time. So with that said, first of all, to fix this issue, if you advertise more than one page on your website, okay, uh, what you can do is you can then start up a new ad that advertises a new page or a new landing page just for a test. And then your ad, your second ad that points to a different page on your website gets a, disapproved for destination not working. Okay, then I want you to start up an unbounce account or something else where you can actually run you know, a connect a Wix page or something like that to your main website, to your main website domain, and then try to point an ad to that page that's t actually physically located on a different web host. The reason why I mentioned that is because if you got some, some issue with the coding on your website, the footer, the header code, something that's causing Google to not like your page, at least then you're starting out with a total blank slate and you can see if you get disapproved that way. Or you could just basically create a brand new page on your site where it's a, all there is on the page is it's just a white page with like a little bit of text on it. But it isn't a part of your main website at all, basically. You'll run that test. If you still get disapproved at that point for destination not working, having that error come up, then here's the thing that I had to figure out the hard way myself, which is why I'm making this video switch domain providers and or consider getting rid of and or switching your CDN that you're using like Cloudflare Flare is an example of a CDN that's the main CDN that people use and the reason for this is is because particularly with GoDaddy being the one the, 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 the domain name is not resolving correctly so this isn't even a hosting issue At, and the process that I told you to go through first identifies if it's your website code or is it your domain uh, registrar at that level? Is it the problem at that level itself? Of course, this could be something to do with your hosting account as well, by the way. So if you wanted to, you could also technically switch hosting providers and try to run a test there. But like I said before, if you go ahead and you post a page using an Unbounce account or a Wix account, and then pull and then run your ad there, then that's gonna be on a, a different hosting account. So that should take care of it if it's a, the, the problem's at the hosting level, the hosting account level. And if you get this prevent, then it's at the domain level. So go ahead and register a new domain, not at your same domain registrar, but at a brand new one, one, uh, a, you know, one that's a you know expensive mainstream that kind of thing and then set up your website same landing page you know take the code and everything that you have for your landing page host it on that new website then try to run an ad to that page now located on a whole different domain name or under a whole new uh, different domain name and see if your ad gets disapproved again for destination not working more than likely it'll get fixed at that point why is it that though that this happens that the domains don't resolve correctly? GoDaddy has went downhill over the years. It was, it's not the same company that 
it once was. And obviously, I, GoDaddy is, I don't know what percentage of the market, but it's a high percentage. I think they're the number one domain seller uh, and registrar still. And they aren't managing their systems correctly to the point where, you know, obviously when somebody's accessing your site, they got to go and find where, you know, the domain registrar is so that the, the domain registrar points to your hosting, aware, to, to direct the user where the ho hosting account that you have is. And if the domain registrar doesn't respond quick enough, then Google's just going to simply say, oh, there's no page there. Sorry, I don't see anything. And that's where your ad disapproval actually comes from, okay? So it could just simply be as simple as switching domains. Now, I know it sounds, that's not so simple for a lot of you guys, particularly if you're running like an e-commerce business. You got your whole e-commerce business on that domain, all your organic rankings on that domain and everything, all your ad history on that new domain, which is a lot of people don't recognize if you switch domains or even if you switch pages on your site, so like you've been running a campaign at a certain landing page URL for a long time, you try switching to a different URL, most, like at least half of your results that you've built up over time in that account or on that ad specifically will be wiped out the minute that you switch it to a new domain, even with the exact same code on it. But even worse, if it's the same looking page but with different code. So there's different levels to how much how, how far backwards you go when you make a switch like that because the algorithm is jo the algorithm's job is to find out which ad, which people your ad should be in front of and when you make a change the bigger the change the more that the algorithm says it has to refigure out and then your results go backwards and that's why your results constantly get better when you run ads because the algorithm gets a better and better beat all the time on how to get you a return and from your account because it understands what works what versus what doesn't work. And when you make changes, the algorithm says, I don't know what I used to know, so I'm gonna just go back and refer back to where we were before and relearn all over again. And then your results go with down with it. So anyway, if you have to switch domains at this point, unfortunately, you're probably gonna lose at least half of your ad performance making this switch. But what else, what other choice do you have? You could literally, again, you could have the same web code, same website, switch domains, and all, all that's different is the URL that you're sending the user to is different, and you'll still see a huge dip in your results short term. You're gonna, you might see a 25% dip, 35% dip, 50, maybe even a 50% dip in your results right away, and then that 50% will then become 40%, the 30, and then it'll build back up again, but you've got to go through that making that kind of a change on your ad account by switching the location of a landing page. The algorithm says, for the most part, the, the system's geared to say, okay, this is a different URL. They don't say, well, this is just a, a same page. Maybe it's the same page on a different URL. No, that's not the default way that the algorithm thinks. They think, this is a new page. We've got to test this new page, see where it should fit in to where uh, on our systems, where, which people it should show up in front of. It doesn't assume it's gonna fit in the same places that your old page fit into before. It's gonna go back, kick you out of where you were getting all your placement, and then slowly test you out again, which is why your results go backwards. So, um, if this is your problem where your domain registrar's effing up here, you will likely get an ad reapproved after appealing an ad that's been disapproved and for destination not working, and then you know, a week later, two weeks later, whatever, the ad will get disapproved again, all over again. Or if you start up a new ad to try to get your ads working again, because your other ad has, it's down because of destination not working, then that ad will do fine for a week or two or whatever. And then that ad will get shut down. Because it's really confusing to people, because you say, you look at the page, it loads correctly for you at least, not Google's uh, system, by the way, which is where the problem exists, and uh, you know it's fine for a while, and then all of a sudden, a week later, the, the issue comes up. Then you get it fixed, you appeal it or whatnot, and then it's fine for a while, then it comes back. The reason why it's intermittent like that is because your domain registrar is not messing up all the time consistently. It's periodically messing up. But well, Google's system isn't just going to check that your page works once in a while it's gonna consistently check once a day, once every couple days. It's gonna ping all your landing pages and make sure 
that the page resolves because they don't want to send people on Google to a page that doesn't work because that pisses off their users. And if they, if they do that consistently enough, people will distrust clicking on ads and then Google will learn, lose long-term money of their money maker, which is Google ads, Google search ads, Google ads on google.com. So they built this system up uh, to make the best experience for their users who come to Google to get them to want to click on ads in the future. So ultimately, if the domain registrar isn't working 100% of the time perfectly, eventually you're going to have the ad disapproved and all it takes is once. It's not like they check it and then later on they'll check it again and the page is working. Your, it, you know, your page is going to be able to be reapproved magically again. No. Uh -uh. If they check once and it says the page is down, they're going to assume the page is down until you appeal it or you create a new ad. Unfortunately, that's the way that the system works, at least till today. So you could, again, go back to the page, see that it's working, wonder, like, because that's the confusing, confusing part, right? You see the page, it's working. Why the hell is Google not doing it, anything? And then you appeal it, it gets approved, and then it, two weeks later, it's just approved again. You check it again, it's, it looks fine. And the reality is it's just intermittently not resolving at the domain registrar level, at the DNS level, if you want to get into tech speak here, so that when people try to go to your domain registrar, they, when they go to the domain registrar, the domain registrar is not resolving the address slash location of your website hosting, where your website files are physically located for the user to download your website slash files onto their web browser and onto their device so that they can resolve what you're, what's supposed to be on your website. So until you get the domain registrar fixed, it's just going to be a game of whack-a-mole. It's going to be up for a couple weeks, then down. A couple weeks up, then down. And let me tell you, you think that that's better than taking this 50% drop in results switching domains? Just rip the Band-Aid off because you're going to be way worse less uh, long-term way worse off long term not making the switch because the inconsistency of your ads running the algorithm is going to favor other advertisers over you for the better quality traffic and your results will be suffering long term 100 percent because of that it's not like you can a lot of people get confused like they think oh well on the holidays i'll try to shut my ads off or They'll do stupid stuff like that or they'll accidentally their card won't be funded and they'll not run their ads for a few days that is death to your results. The algorithm that runs your ads in a competitive market is going to pick the one to show that is going to be the most consistent to, to run and to learn how to run in terms of the AI trying to figure out how to run your ads. And when your ads get shut off intermittently at all, they start they put you at the, la the end of the line into you know, getting shown in, in these competitive spots where all the profitable customers are in your space. So... You know, if your ads get disapproved and then you have to appeal, then they get kicked on again in two or three days, that's enough to see half your results that you should be seeing long term just from that alone. So you might as well just get it out of the way, make your switch. You know, obviously it's cost money to switch domains, but you got to do what you got to do. Or if you wanted to technically, another option would be getting the domain transferred from one domain registrar to another, which would be if... Well, I would do it that way personally because then you really aren't going to see uh, any kind of um, blip in your results, if you will, because Google, it's going to be the same URL that you always had, except the only big difference being that the, the domain for users is resolving and pointing users to the web, ho web hosting that you have reliably versus unreliably like you have now with your current domain ho uh, registrar. So you could switch it from GoDaddy to like, uh, I don't know, what are some other don't Namecheap, whatever. And then Namecheap will then resolve your domain for you. I would look into that option if you want to cut down in the amount of problems that you have. And obviously, then you don't have to um, uh, have that lack in results uh, or that, that, you know, that volatility in your result short term as you have to point into another URL. So I would start there if you're 
even though it might be a little bit of a learning curve to know how to do that, because it's not the easiest to switch a domain from one provider to another and switch it like that. People do that all the way, all the time, by the way, if you buy a domain from somebody, that's exactly what's going on. You buy it and then you get the domain transfer from one domain to a provider to another, or you can anyway. You could obviously buy a domain and then have it with GoDaddy if it was with GoDaddy on the, from the previous owner, but many people will get it switched to their domain registrar because they have other domains that they're managing and they don't want to have, if they buy multiple domains from people, they don't want to have 15 different domain registrars that they're managing. They want one registrar, so they transfer in the domain that they're purchasing to the registrar they already have, if that makes sense. Uh, to say, though, that there's going to be zero difference in your results switching the, who hosts the domain registrar, even that is going to fluctuate your results a little bit, but it's not going to be nothing like actually physically switching the URL. So... Don't prepare for no change, but minimal. Plus or minus 10%, 20% of your results for a few days, then you're back on track. So basically nothing. So anyway, that is something that you're not gonna see other people say that I've personally went through this and learned the hard way at my company, how to deal with this issue for ourselves, for our clients, and hopefully for you to finally get this pressing issue fixed for you at your company, with what you're doing with your accounts. So with that said, if you liked the video, thought it was educational and informative, I would appreciate it if you would give the video a like and consider subscribing as I have a lot of other content on this channel about other money-making strategies, how to make money with your ads. This of course isn't talking about ad strategy per se, but this is all that I do on my channel here is how to make money with Google ads, Facebook ads, so on and so forth. And if you wanna learn how to make millions of dollars with your ads, you should subscribe because it's coming from somebody that manages millions and millions of dollars of ad spend on an ongoing basis for dozens of clients at my agency where I do all the strategy. So it's coming straight from the source. And furthermore, if you like my channel, by the way, I also got a blog at guaranteedppc.com slash blog where you can find written material from myself as well as you can see my column at entrepreneur.com where I also have reoccurring written material that comes out from myself on a regular basis that helps you make money with your ads as well. What's the latest uh, and greatest working stuff that out there works as well as the stuff that doesn't work to stay away from it. So um, with that said, uh, if you, before I wrap this up, if you are looking for an ad manager and want to make more money with your ads but you don't want to put the work in, this is what I do for clients on an ongoing basis. We guarantee results for our clients that are firm, i.e. you don't pay any result uh, funds to our agency until we get you more sales results on your account. We don't work with just any client out there, but if you think that we can work together, I'd love to hear from you. You can reach out to my firm at guaranteedppc.com. I'll be happy to look over your stuff and get you an estimate of what results I think I can get for your company. And if there's a fit there, uh, and if we can work together, we won't take our fee up front as a way to break into the relationship. Now beyond that, by the way, if you aren't looking for an ad agency to work with, but you want results quicker than you have now, if we've already worked in your industry already, you should reach out to us and use the campaign templates that we have already built for your industry. Because obviously if somebody works with us in a space we've worked in before, we're not building anything from scratch. We're reusing everything we've used the last time from the previous client that we've built up results for years in that industry already. Well, we just started offering these templates to people that want them as well. And we sell them for a one-time fee. Of which we can tell you the results you're gonna get with those templates uh, up front before you even purchase them from us. And we offer the campaign templates, landing page templates, all of it is included to get copy paste results using them in your advertising accounts and for your campaigns. So with that said, if you're interested in that as well, reach out to me, I'll let you know what markets we worked in and what results we got in your market if we worked in your market. But I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next video where we have another great strategy for you then. See you later.